Okay. So as you can see off camera, I have added the saucer separation sequence. that chance.
I repel and my bridge officers just jump. Hello. Ow, that hurt. Okay, Neiman, what's your story? Greetings. I am very glad to meet you. I am Neiman, a Forta scientist, and servant of the Founders and the Dominion, of course. Oh my, yes. I have a proposition to which I hope you shall be amenable. I serve a Founder named Loss. He is one of 100 Founders sent here to the Alpha Quadrant. His actions have placed me in a bit of a moral conundrum that I hope you can help me unravel. A Vorta with a moral conundrum? I didn't realize you had morals. Voss was the first of these Alpha Quadrant founders to emerge. He located and gathered the others into a new Great Link. However, he has not seen fit to tell these founders that the war with the Dominion is over and that the Great Link is alive and well in the Gamma Quadrant. Instead, he has convinced them that you solids exterminated the Great Link and are attempting to exterminate these founders as well. Why do you continue to serve loss? Several reasons. First, even if I do not agree with him, he is a god. Second, he is my only link to the other founders here. Finally, his Gem Hadar are fanatically loyal and watch me constantly. Although you seem to have mitigated that issue. If you serve Lass, why have you chosen to betray him? Betrayal is such an ugly word. I prefer to think of our arrangement as a creative solution to a difficult problem. But semantics aside, I do not feel so much that I am betraying Loss as liberating the other 98 Founders and serving the Dominion and the Founders. I do not believe they would want these Alpha Quadrant Founders to be ignorant of the truth. 
I also fear that if Loss continues his plans, it could result in the death of Founders. The morphogenic virus still lives in the memory of the Dominion. What do you do here? My job is to supervise the Ketracel White production. While the Jem Hadar are mighty warriors, they are not the greatest scientists, nor do we wish them to have the secret of Ketracel White production. What is this deal you propose? Thus keeps me away from the new link. They have been raised on his deceits, and so will be utterly convinced that you are attempting to exterminate them. I believe we can help each other. You can free me and take me to the new link, where I can explain to the founders the truth, that the Dominion still exists, and that you are not hunting them to extinction. Uh-huh. What's the catch? Oh. I do not like the word catch. It sounds so mercenary. But yes, my price is Loss's life. After I reveal the truth to the new Link, you must allow them to mete out their justice. I cannot jeopardize the life of a founder under any circumstances. Very well, come with us. I'll be glad to get out of here. These Alpha Gem Hadar don't understand the proper respect owed to a Vorta. Intruders! I'll put up a force field! You dump the data! We've got to stop the first before he deletes all the data! Retrieve the coordinates. Come on, Naaman. Stop cowering in fear.
I have the data. It will take some time to decrypt, but I recommend we depart as quickly as possible. Agreed. Acknowledged. You are so quick to blow things up. Such a waste. That factory might have come in handy someday. Oh, that's a ring I passed for me. Completed the decryption of the data we recovered. The new link appears to lie in the Orias system. I have transferred the coordinates to your helm. I want to thank you for your service to the Dominion. I also want to remind you of our agreement, namely, that Loss, or any other founder for that matter, is not to be killed by you. I remember, Naaman. I hope I don't come to regret making that arrangement. Treaty with the Dominion. 
but that doesn't mean I trust them. Avorta's first loyalty will always be to the Founders. How can Congratulations, I Congratulations, Admiral. Naaman has decrypted the coordinates for the new link. They designate a location in the Alpha Quadrant, in the Orion system. This changing named Lux has deceived the other changelings in his link into thinking we are exterminating them, and that we massacred the Gamma Quadrant changelings as well. You must have Naaman help you convince them of the truth. How can I help you? Betrayal wears a familiar face, as infiltrators from other dimensions attempt to establish a foothold in the Bajor sector. Will the wormhole lead to the other side of the mirror? Only the prophets know what can restore the walls between worlds. The Gemladar will not likely be interested in negotiation. I'm afraid you'll have to fight your way through. What is that all over my ship? What a waste. Still, the nice thing about Jumpadar is that you can always do more.
you think? I will be the first fort to meet the new link. You have to admire the devotion of the Jem'Hadar. They never seem to tire of throwing their lives away for the Founders. Naaman, you're very getting annoying. There it is. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. To think my gods slumber below, dreaming in their link. It's almost sacrilegious to have you here. I hope the Founders will understand the necessity and forgive me.
The other Vorta are going to be so envious when they hear about this. Come on, I'm about to claw him. Die. Thank you. Have you come to finish the job of exterminating us, Solid? We are not the ones to hurt you. We have been deceived by loss. Impossible. We have linked with loss. He is in the link as we speak. We know all that he knows. And he must have some way of deceiving you. It is true that he awoke before us. Let us summon him to answer these charges. We have our own witness as well. It's true, Great One. These people are not hunting you. The Great Link remains. The Dominion has a treaty with the Alpha Quadrant species. This creature lies. You have joined with me. You know all that I know. Then you should have no qualms about linking. No. These solids have poisoned your minds. I will not be forced to link by them. Then prepare to be exterminated.
Although it is unfortunate we had to resort to violence to force Lost into his liquid form, we are grateful for your assistance. We shall now be able to link with him and learn the whole truth of our past. If you are telling the truth, you have nothing more to fear from us. But we request that you leave us in peace. We have no interest in dealing with your kind. I hope in time you'll change your mind, but we shall respect your wishes. Well, it has been a pleasure knowing you. I will remain and serve the Founders. They have been without a Vorta and have much to learn about their siblings in the Gamma Quadrant. I know the Founders may seem ungrateful to you, but what can you expect from a god? Still, you have my gratitude, for whatever the gratitude of an insignificant servant is worth. Safe journeys, Neiman. Fear not, we shall leave you in peace. Warping right through the beacon. Gotta tell you. Congratulations! You have defeated the true way and made peace with the Alpha Changelings. I have transmitted messages to the major powers of the galaxy, advising them to avoid the Araya system. I have one final request for you. Please return to DS9 at your convenience, so that I may thank you personally. By now, you've faced the Borg. The Collective is appearing with more frequency in the Alpha Quadrant now, and Defera is facing repeated attacks. We've been able to push them back so far, but we can't do it forever, not without help. Starfleet has convinced representatives from the Klingon Empire, the Cardassians, and the Deferi to meet on Deep Space Nine. We want you to be there as well.
Welcome to DS9. I'm Commander Karen Andrews, Captain Carlin's first officer. He asked me to inform you that he's been delayed dealing with an incident in Cargo Bay 3. How can I help you? My name is Sa How can I help you? I'm looking forward to the conference and what your government has to say about the Borg. While I agree the Borg are indeed a threat, I'm not entirely clear as to what you expect the Ditapa Council to do about it. If you will remember, we dismantled our military after the Dominion War and only maintain a small force for planetary defense. Those ships you may have seen were stolen from my government by the true way. Regrettably, Starfleet has yet to put a stop to their campaign of terror. Captain Kerlin has been unavoidably, unavoidably detained. We would delay a start of the conference until he is ready. Being here on Deep Space Nine reminds me of my mentor, Gul Mavek, who was stationed here during the Dominion occupation. During his time here, he came across a peculiar drink, but Joran distilled Kanar. Apparently, during the Cardassian occupation, the soldiers wanted their favorite libation, but there was not enough Kanar in the shipments from home. So these resourceful young officers conscripted a group of Bajorans, mostly from the religious houses, to distill Kanar for them. The Kanar from Bajor has a different color and flavor from the best Cardassian vintages because of the local ingredients used in its distillation. Nevertheless, many of the officers who drank it developed quite a taste for this Bajoran pleasure. It is impossible to find a similar vintage on Cardassia Prime, and I want to present a bottle to my mentor and friend, Gul Mavek upon my return to the homeworld. It would mean so much to him, and I would be most grateful to anyone who could assist me in this small task. I'll see if I can find any. Need something, friend? You carry Bajoran still canard? A wise man can hear profit in the wind. Next we're trying to look somewhere else. Hey, Morn! Greetings. My name is Sarai, and I speak for the Deferi. Until recently, my people isolated ourselves from the rest of the galaxy in an attempt to remain neutral. We seek balance in all things, and therefore choose not to take sides in conflicts that do not concern us. The Borg, however, threaten everyone. My own world has been scarred by the Collective. I look forward to hearing your thoughts about how we can deal with the Borg when the conference convenes. 
Captain Curlin has a situation you must deal with immediately. I'm sorry to tell you the start of the conference has been delayed. I understand. I must find something to do with my free time. Greetings. My name while I recently completed a diplomatic mission to Cardassia Prime. I must admit I never developed a taste for Kanar, and so didn't feel the need to take a bar. Need something, friend? Opportunity plus in up for it. Wow. I was informed you would be here. Have you come with another friendly reminder from Commander Andrews? Feel free to report back to her and let her know that I haven't eaten the furniture or scared away the Dabo players. Not yet, anyway. Commander Andrews wanted you to know that the start of the conference has been delayed. That is troubling. My ship is waiting to return to Kronos as soon as these talks are completed. I have no wish to linger here any longer than is necessary. May the prophets bless you. We await the word of the emissary. Okay.
Ah, there he is. I'm looking forward. If you will remember, we dismantle. Oh, wonderful! Gulmavec will be so pleased with this gift. Thank you for your assistance. If at some point I can assist you in return, all you need to do is. You kept your head in that tricky situation in the Iconia system. Good to have people like you on our side. And I'm glad there's someone else here who's faced the Borg in battle. We have a perspective the rest of these full-time diplomats don't. Captain Curlin is dealing with a problem in the cargo bays. The start of the conference will be delayed. I hope the problem's not too serious. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to get some assistance from DS9 to deal with some issues on my ship. We've been on deep space patrols for more than a month. And this is the first chance we've had to get back to a real starbase. My ship needs repairs, and I'm running out of spit and wishes to hold her together. Good luck, I hope you find some help. Sorry to trouble you again. You kept your head, and I'm glad there's someone else here. How many do you have? My chief engineer has been looking for stem bolts for weeks. He wants to do some upgrades to the Belfast, and the Defiant class has always been a little touchy. Sometimes it's best to use what works, even if the technology's a little out of date. We've made inquiries with several traders, but everyone we talked to dumped their inventories after the speculation bubble burst. Some Ferengi out there made a small fortune a few months ago cornering the stem bolt market, but now that supply is gone. I was hoping to find some here, but so far I haven't had the chance. If you know of a source, my crew could make the upgrades we need without having to find an industrial replicator. Greetings. Need something, friend? A wise man can hear profit. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. A Ferengi without profit is no Ferengi at all. Greetings. My name is Sarah. Wonderful. Most of the holo technology on Tefera is used for training or utilitarian purposes, so I don't have many chances to use a holo suite for entertainment. Thank you for your assistance. I hope you didn't go through too much.
My apologies, both to you and Commander Andrews. It's not often that I get some time to myself these days. Captain Curland offered me the use of his office, but I came here instead for some peace and quiet. Peace. It's in far too short of supply these days. I've been in Starfleet for a long time. I've seen more battles than I care to remember. But this one, there's no reasoning with the Borg. There's no chance for a nonviolent solution. I only hope that we can unite before they come for us. No one is safe. Welcome, everyone. I'm so pleased that you all agreed to join us here today. As many of you are all too aware, the Borg attacks are increasing. If they are left unchecked, Starfleet predicts that the entire Alpha Quadrant could fall within three years. We all must work together to push these invaders out of our space and protect our homes and families. I do not agree. My empire will stand, with or without your assistance. The Klingon Empire has never been stronger than it is right now. I dare the Borg to challenge us. Starfleet may cower in fear before a bunch of machines, but we do not. I'm sure what the esteemed ambassador from the Klingon Empire meant to say is that he hopes we are all so crippled by our efforts to stop the Borg, we will be no match for a battle-hardened Klingon fleet. I do not want to be assimilated, but I don't want to be a servant to the Klingon Empire either. The Deferi believe that all things must be in balance. We cannot counter the Borg threat if we ourselves are counter to one another. The Deferi do not wish to act against any of you. Therefore, should this meeting not reach a consensus, our best course of action is to not act at all. Starfleet will do what it must to protect the Federation. However, if you want our assistance, you need to be willing to protect yourselves and contribute to this campaign. The Borg will be stronger if any of your civilizations are assimilated. Starfleet's hard at work developing new technology and tactics. We, at least, will be ready. And if we can't cooperate, I hope you don't suffer. And that we develop new weapons in time. This is getting us nowhere. We came together in the spirit of cooperation. We need to find common ground. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Be careful. You are dangerously close to insulting the honor of the Cleon Empire. Ha! Starfleet won't survive without our assistance. It is good, then, that we see the merit in fighting at your side in this instance. It would not be honorable for us to reserve our strength while others go out to fight. That is a trick worthy of a Romulan. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Cardassia Prime is still rebuilding from the Dominion War. We have achieved a great deal in the past decades, but there is still much more to do. The continued threat of the true way makes progress difficult. It would be best if we reserve our limited resources. I will not weaken my world to defeat the Borg, only to become the victim of another power already here in the... I will protect my home until my last breath. 
My people... I see your point. If we work together, we can spread the risks of fighting the Borg, while at the same time creating a unified force that is more likely to succeed. Co now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Maintaining balance with all things must be our primary. It is one thing to choose to swim upstream against the current. It is quite another to drain the river because it is flowing in the wrong direction. The Borg do not respect the balance. We will offer what support we can to your- Now, did you- Starfleet will do everything we can to protect the- Starfleet recognizes the Borg threat. Let's take a quick recess to cool off. And that's funny, I don't remember anyone being scheduled to fly through the wormhole today. There's something coming out of the wormhole. Captain, it's a Dominion fleet. They're charging weapons. Red alert! Everyone to shuttles. Prep the Defiant for launch. I'll blast it. The Jimadar have cut off access to ops. Karen, you'll need to coordinate the evacuation. We'll get the delegates to the docking ring, and then I'll try to join you in ops.
Captain Carland. Good to know that you and the delegates are safe. Jim Hadar have stormed the station and we're losing critical areas. The Defiant has launched and I've evacuated everyone possible, but a few of us stayed to... Andrews? Andrews! Someone, answer me! What's going on? Captain, my name is Loris, and I represent the Dominion. This station and all remaining souls on it are now under our control. Of course we do. However, that is not you and your ship. Okay, so that's all the time I have for this evening. And I'll check back with everyone next time. Enjoy.